Room. Now, Chairman of the National Media Commission, Yaobuedu Ayabwafo, has called on journalists not to allow themselves to be manipulated by politicians ahead of the 2024 general elections. Speaking at the launch of the 30th anniversary of Campus Bay Station Radio Universe, he stressed the importance of upholding ethics of credibility and truthfulness in their reportage. Ejubi Riafe Akenting has more in this report, read by Ajwa Tinkrama Domina. Founded in 1994, Radio Universe stands as one of Ghana's oldest campus-based radio stations, boasting a legacy of three decades. Over the years, it has been instrumental in shaping the careers of numerous prominent media personalities in the country, including Bernard Avle, Caleb Kuda, Bula Ray and Kafui Day, among others, through a student volunteer program. Speaking at its 30th anniversary launch at the University of Ghana, station manager Dr. Alhaji Sadiq Abubakar expressed his delight at reaching the significant milestone. He shared his aspirations for the station's continued growth and impact in the years ahead. As we celebrate Radio University's legacy, let us herald Radio University as a station whose products are in high demand in the broadcasting industry because of their excellent skills, hard work, versatility, and therefore uh, multitasking abilities and good judgment amongst others. This is the reason why Radio University stands as a veritable training ground for, for budding communication professionals providing hands-on experience in broadcast journalism. As we celebrate, we want to embark on a transformational journey that will reposition Radio Universe as a youth-focused, urban lifestyle, music-driven, and socially responsible institutional radio uh, platform delivering top-notch content that empowers educates, entertains, and resonates with local and international audiences. Delivering the keynote address at the anniversary event, Chairman of the National Media Commission, Yabwedu Ayabwafo, cautioned journalists against succumbing to political manipulation ahead of the 2024 general elections, emphasizing the critical importance of upholding journalistic ethics of credibility and truthfulness, he urged media practitioners to remain steadfast in their commitment to unbiased reporting. The sounding of the battle drum is important. The fierce waging of the war itself is important. And the telling of the story afterwards. Each is not one of them we could do without. But if you ask me which of them takes the eagle feather, I will boldly say the story. Now, as we traverse this year of intense political campaigns towards election 2024 and eventually December 7, which seems an epoch to confirm or expose the myth about the cycle of two times or eight years, we must not allow ourselves to be misused by politically partisan interests to undermine our sense of professionalism. Additionally, President of the Ghana Journalists Association, Albert Kwabena Junfo, echoed the call for responsible journalism, encouraging media practitioners to exercise caution in their statements. Practitioners, thus radio presenters, producers, and talk show hosts, to always speak professionalism and ethical standards, the unguided principle, as they carry out their mandate as the fourth estate of the world. You would all agree with me that radio is powerful. Therefore, any information that you turn out must foster cohesion and not division. As practitioners, we should be measured in our utterances and continue to deliver the capital mandate that is to inform, educate, and entertain. That is the only way your work can be seen as impacting on the society. Favor of which everything you do can be described as a